Hi guys, so it's day 6 of the lockdown here in South Africa. Um, I have been testing some slugs and seeing how they shoot and making some uh, videos. And yeah, I have to say I'm pretty happy with, uh, with these Inferno slugs. This will be uh, the first part of the review. Um, in the first part I will be testing the uh, Inferno Rex, uh, the hunting slug. Uh, it's 25 grains, it has a cup base and yeah, it's a pretty uh, pretty nice slug. Uh, it has a, re a red plastic uh, rubber ball uh, in front and yeah, I'm going to put some pictures out now that you can see them properly. Um, these pretty much explode on impact. Um, you will see uh, I uploaded a video of me uh, protecting my tomatoes uh, from little uh, birds and that this is the slug that I used in that video. I will put a link to uh, that video up here somewhere. All of these reviews were made over a couple of days um, as I had chance um, to do them. Between a couple of chores I had to do at home and a bit of work that I still had to do and everything. So um, yeah, you will see the continuity isn't isn't perfect, but this will just give you a rough idea of how these uh, slugs do. They shoot uh, pretty well, pretty accurate, and I am very happy. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, uh, part two and part three um, of the review will be. Uh, coming out as soon as I finished editing and that will be on the 25 grain uh, normal hollow points and also the 23 grain uh, normal hollow point uh, inferno slugs Okay, so the impact with the uh, 25 grain inferno rex slugs on 30 meters I'm pretty happy with that and that was uh, 600 ah oh, sorry <laughs> that was 965 feet per second okay guys so I'm gonna shoot uh, the inferno red slugs the hunting uh, the hunting slugs and the realistic shell so let's see Thump. Okay, next up we have the gauntlet. Um, I'm using the single shot tray because these slugs are a bit too large for the for the magazine. Okay, so that was an average of 600 feet per second. Okay, so this is a stock standard Brocock uh, Bantam Sniper. Okay, well, Flyer or something. Eight eight three. Okay, so yeah, the Bantam sniper shoots the slugs pretty well at eight hundred and eighty feet per second. That's forty three foot pounds.
Okay, for the Sumatra, I'm using my uh, homemade uh, 3D printed um, single shot tray. So I will uh, use that because these uh, slugs are a bit, um, their diameter is a bit small, so it just uh, falls out of the um, Sumatra's magazine. But yeah, let's see uh, how they shoot. So they are travelling at 1,020 feet per second, let's see. Okay, so that went from 900 and or 1,020 feet per second uh, down to 975 over the course of five shots. So, um, yeah, uh, I would say that's not too bad. It was completely to the uh, to the right. Okay, guys, uh, just to show you that there is uh, there is a bit of wind. Um, it's coming and going, and as you can see, um, maybe also here, there is some wind, and yeah, um, I like to test uh, the slugs and everything in the conditions that I'm going to be hunting in, and yeah, as you can see, this isn't the best hunting conditions for an air rifle, especially when you're using pellets. But uh, the slugs, yeah, they, they really uh, make a big difference. Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna uh, do 100 meters with the uh, Inferno Rex, uh, 25 grain slugs. Uh, just see uh, where to aim. Wow, okay, <laughs> uh, I, I heard that one, um, okay, now the impact, same, uh, 25 grain uh, slugs, Okay, let's single load one from the can. Nice, okay. So that was the impact, uh, 100 meters with the 25 grain uh, Inferno Rex slugs.